Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Today marked a significant stride in national security and economic advancement as R2S, a collaboration between defense powerhouses Raytheon of the United States and Raphael Advanced Defense Systems of Israel, broke ground on a cutting-edge $63 million manufacturing facility in East Camden, Arkansas. This facility, poised to elevate the production of the Tamir missile for the Iron Dome weapon system and its Sky Hunter variant, destined for the U.S., Marine Corps and international allies, stands as a beacon of collaboration between nations. The partnership between Raytheon, a business under RTX, NYSE, RTX, and Raphael Advanced Defense Systems signifies a robust alliance aimed at enhancing the air defense capabilities of the United States and its global partners. With an expectation to generate around 60 new job opportunities, this facility not only strengthens the local economy but also signifies the expansion of the industrial park in Highland. During a ceremony attended by Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders and state dignitaries, the initiative was hailed for its dual significance in bolstering national security and fostering economic growth. Governor Sanders emphasized the pivotal role of the facility in shoring up the nation's defense infrastructure amidst a backdrop of global uncertainties. This investment is not merely about economic expansion but ensuring the safety of our nation in an increasingly volatile world, she underscored during the groundbreaking event. Pini Youngman, Executive Vice President and General Manager of the Air and Missile Defense Division at Raphael, reflected on the enduring 18-year partnership with Raytheon, lauding the joint venture's dedication to technological innovation and security collaboration. The establishment of this facility is a testament to our shared commitment and vision to safeguard the citizens of Israel and America, Youngman affirmed, expressing optimism for future endeavors. Annabel Flores, Deputy President of Land and Air Defense Systems at Raytheon, announced an increased investment from the initial $33 million to $63 million, highlighting the partner's unwavering dedication to this pivotal defense endeavor. This expansion not only underscores our commitment to supporting the U.S., Marine Corps and our allies but also reflects our confidence in the local workforce and the economic prospects of Camden, Flores remarked. The R2S facility in East Camden is poised to emerge as a cornerstone in the production of advanced air defense systems, contributing significantly to both national security and regional economic prosperity. With collaborative efforts from Raytheon and Raphael, complemented by local and state support, the project represents a leap forward in strengthening global defense partnerships and enhancing the strategic defense capabilities of the United States. The Iron Dome, an advanced air defense system developed by Raphael Advanced Defense Systems of Israel, is designed to intercept and neutralize short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances of 4 to 70 kilometers away. Since its deployment in 2011, the Iron Dome has proven to be a critical asset in protecting civilian populations and essential infrastructure against various aerial threats, boasting a notably high success rate in intercepting incoming projectiles. Operating by tracking incoming threats with radar, computing a guidance solution, and launching a Tamir interceptor missile to destroy the target mid-air, the Iron Dome minimizes the risk of collateral damage on the ground. The Tamir missile, the interceptor utilized by the Iron Dome system, is engineered for high precision and rapid response to incoming threats, equipped with advanced radar and electro-optical sensors for precise target identification and neutralization. The Sky Hunter, a US-certified iteration of the Iron Dome jointly developed by Raphael and Raytheon, is a mobile, all-weather air defense system tailored to eliminate short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances of 4 to 70 kilometers. The development and production of these missiles underscore the strategic partnership and technological synergy between the United States and Israel, aimed at fortifying defense mechanisms against evolving aerial threats while ensuring the safety of nations and their allies. That's all for now. See you later.